What is up guys? Welcome to the channel. I was on a small vacation, so that is why there was no episode last week. Sorry for that, I hope you understand. Every knife, even this which stay behind the glass, should have a sheath. So in this episode, I'm going to make a leather sheath for the black fighter I finished on the last episode. Before we start, this episode going to be a little bit different than the last one, cause my experience in leather work is much lower than the knife making experience. So between the comments related to the leather work, I'm going to focus on something that is probably much more valuable for you, and it is the designing. So first of all, you need to understand that there is a tiny line between cool knife sheath and the goofy one. And not always adding elements like stamps, fancy rivets, multicolor paint, make the sheath consistent with the knife. The most important is the balance between the case and the thing inside the case. So if you make a simple knife without any texture on the blade, smooth surface on the sheath is totally acceptable. There is no change in your feelings about the knife when you're taking it out from the sheath. This is actually what you are looking for. If the knife is more fancy, you need to look on the both elements on different side. Imagine you taking Damascus knife with cool pattern from the sheath without any ornaments. There is big wow in your mind. And after a minute, you go back to the sheath and what you feel? Disappointment. Because sheath for a very cool knife is just boring. And that is why I chose to cut a hole and put texture similar to the texture on the knife, patch, and additional red leather inside the sheath. Why not yellow? Because in this case, yellow will make this sheath goofy. And I cannot explain that. It is just a feeling. Remember that you must feel the design. And this is the most important rule. Another thing is the knife function. If you make a simple knife that you know will be used, you don't have to make two-part sheath. But if you make an art knives, it's cool if you make a sheath that don't disturb the beauty of the blade while it's sitting behind the glass. However, knives, no matter how beauty they are, be always a tool. So as a maker, it would be good if you give the opportunity to the customer to wear it. As you can see, this red leather makes the part too thick and to lock the knife, I need to cut it. And this is another thing you need to remember, the comfort of the use. If you make a simple knife, make a simple but strong leather sheath. Use good black threads. Why black? Because black will stay clean longer than any other color. Or use a rivets. Make this leather sheath functional. So the main job is done. As you can see, I've tried to make as small sheath as possible. Whole knife looks good with and without the sheath. And this is the key if you want to make a sheath that not overload the knife. And this red color, in my opinion, looks very sexy. Now, try to imagine it with a yellow leather inside. Ah, uh, yeah. Second component is the belt holder. And it will be super simple because this is what I've been talking about at the beginning. There is a tiny gap between cool and the goofy. And you need to know when to say stop. It is good enough. So I'm not doing any stamps. There is not much texture on the knife. So there should be not too much it on the sheath. The balance in this case 
is crucial. The final stitches and the leather sheath is done. Guys, thanks for watching, have a great day, we see you on the next episode. I know that this is a little bit different video, but I hope you still enjoy it. Let me know down in the comment what do you think about the designing rules and the overall look of the blade, leather sheath and whole project.